Stay with me on this one. <laughs> what do dozens of tri-state charities, a giant pelican, and 100,000 wiffle golf balls have in common? Well, they're all part of a celebration of champions. Cincy Charity Golf Ball Drop, and here to tell us more about that is Gail Smith, founder of the Smith Family Foundation, and Connie Flynn from Remke Markets. Thanks to you both for coming out. And this is an event that was, that was going to happen a little bit earlier in the year. Right. We've got more charities involved now, but it is still, I think it's hard for people to sort of conceptualize. So, Gail, tell me all about it. Well, it, it's such a long story, and I know we've got two minutes to do this, but, <laughs> but on April 17th, uh, we're going to have uh, at the University of Cincinnati mm -hmm. at, at Marshot Field. We're going to have a pelican that's basically 25 feet long with a 52 foot wingspan uh, picked up over on, <laughs> she's laughing, <laughs> pick, pick, picked up over on uh, Shakely uh, lawn over there, yeah. uh, being loaded over there with 100,000 balls, 25,000 each, red, white, blue, and yellow, okay? And then this Sikorsky helicopter is flying down here from Midwest helicopter up out of Chicago to pick that up and, and tack over there back and forth on the field and come in and hover out in the outfield. And, 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 and I've named the Pelican Lucy because that was my mama's name. Okay. Okay, and the belly opens up and these 100,000 balls come down and there's nine targets around in a big circle and each one of them get a $1,000 gift card from Remke's for groceries. And the one in the middle will be $10,000. And then the 200 closest we scoop up. Yeah. And there's a pre-selected number between 1 and 100,000. Let's say it's number 500. We don't know that. Right, sure. Okay? And let's say that one of those 200 is a f number 500. That person wins a million dollars. Wow. Okay. So you have all these different charities that are involved. And they go out and they sell these Whipple golf balls to raise money for those individual groups. And then the people who buy the golf balls, they have a chance to win all this money and all these different prizes. Uh, Connie, why for Remke was this a slam dunk for you guys to get involved? It's just fun. We've always been part of the community and it's just so important for us to be able to help facilitate that. And I think as Gail has built this great infrastructure for these charities to be able to go out and sell balls and make money for themselves to cover their expenses, it's really nice because we're just embedded in community work. Yeah. And so we love being able to be that, that uh, resource so they can come in our store and pick up any of the ticket order forms. Um, through us or they can go to uh, cincycelebrations.com and log in and purchase a ball right online. They can select their favorite charity. There's over 100 charities right now who are excited about this and who have been selling balls on their own. And that's what's so neat is you can choose which particular group you want yes. to support and it's already been, there's already been a proclamation by the city that on, at noon on April 17th, that Sikorsky helicopter is going to pick up the Pelican <laughs> and it will be a great day over at Marge Schott Stadium on the campus the University of Cincinnati. We'll learn more about this as the day gets closer. Yeah. Gail, thank you thank, so much for coming you. in. Thanks we appreciate it. Us. Connie, thank good you. to see you. And if you'd like to donate, we have a link on our website. All you got to do, it's easy. Go to local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button and get yourself a <laughs> Whipple Pelican ball. now with a 50-foot wingspan soaring overhead today, definitely drawing a lot of attention. WLWT News 5's Eric Zarnitz telling us who benefits from what came out of the Pelican. Put together sunshine, golf balls, and a baseball stadium, and what do you get? A perfect day to raise money for local charities. Two kinds of pelicans live in the tri-state, but today a species never before seen flew over UC. More than 100,000 wiffle golf balls dropped from its belly. The pelican, a symbol of philanthropy, and each ball, a $5 donation. You know, it was really a fun thing for the whole school. We did a classroom competition for the kids, competed against each other, so our teachers got involved in the um, program. Close to 100 charities participated, selling $5 balls. Dropped on this mat for a chance to win a prize. 80% of the money raised went to the charities. What my goal was to create that incredible vehicle that I could plug all these nonprofits into, and all they did was the work of selling the ball. We work so hard, and then the dollar, it's hard to get the dollars. So it's always nice to have something that's exciting that people can come to uh, to team up with the University of Cincinnati and then to team up with the other nonprofits as a joint venture rather than trying to, to compete against each other. The Friars Club raised $5,000, all going toward its new building set to open this summer. Mother Teresa Catholic Elementary School raised 6000 a good start going toward the construction of a new wing. All worthy causes hitched to an event Gail hopes will grow. The nonprofit sector is the most perfect group of people 
uh, the Mother Teresa's of the world out there. I need to go help them. And from the smiles on people's faces, it looks like he did and will again. Will you be here next year? We will certainly be here. Bigger and better. The balls left on the field aren't winners, but the 88 charities that participated are. Reporting from Marge Shot Field at UC, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 